<laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Vic and welcome back to Superdrug TV. We hope you had an amazing Valentine's Day, whether it was mates or dates, and if solo, some quality time to yourself. Before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode. We love you watching us. We'll be starting off with our very own Superdrug gurus, Sam and Sim. They will be showing us some of the top trending products on TikTok available at Superdrug. Warning, you will need to be quick because they're selling fast. So we're here now with the Superdrug social media team, Sam and Sim. Hi everyone, I'm Sam, social media manager at Superdrug. Hi everyone, I'm Sim, I'm the assistant manager for social media at Superdrug. So you're going to be talking us through some of these products that are trending on TikTok. So we'll start with the vitamin E hydrating mist. So loads of people have been talking about this on TikTok over the last few weeks. And what's great about this product is it's amazing for skincare and for makeup as a setting spray. So loads of people have been using it to create a really dewy makeup look as part of the final step of their makeup routine. But I know Sim loves it for skincare, don't you? Yeah, it's one of my favourites. So I love using it in the evening underneath my hyaluronic acid. It just gives a massive boost of hydration and the mist is amazing because it's really nice and thin. Perfect mist. <laughs> so you might recognise the next one, which is Maybelline Curl Bounce, which is going all over on TikTok. This has been selling amazingly on Superdrug so far this year. So we're selling one a minute. And um, like Sim said, you've probably seen it all over TikTok. There's 54 million views on the Curl Bounce hashtag, which is insane. I'm sure you've seen it. I've on seen your this for everywhere, you page. all over my For You page. The second I open TikTok, it's one of these videos for this mascara. Yeah, it's amazing because um, you don't even need to use an eyelash curler with these. So the wand is just perfect. It curls your lashes and makes them nice and long and thick. I'm sure everyone will remember Sky High from last mm -hmm. year, which went viral for Maybelline as well. Um, and that one's sold out everywhere. So get your hands on Curl Bounce while you can, because um, it's amazing. So Sky High was more of a kind of lengthening mascara, whereas this one, like Sim said, is more about curling and volumising. Um, so they both give you kind of different looks to your lashes. Um, but I personally love Curl Bounce. So tell us about the NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Liner. So this one again went viral at the end of last year. Um, so everyone used to use this product as an eyeshadow base. So the shade is Milk and it's an amazing kind of white creamy liner. Um, so everyone used to kind of apply it all over their lid as a bit of an eyeshadow base so the eyeshadows popped on top of it. Um, but more recently everyone's been using it as a highlighter, so popping it down the centre of their nose and in the inner corner of their eyes for a real kind of pop of highlight. Amazing. I've never actually seen this one in action, so do you think you could give us like a little tutorial? I'll give it a go, of course. So everyone's popping it down the centre of their nose, so just drawing a line like that and it's really creamy so it goes on really easily, you don't have to put too much pressure. And then you can literally use your finger just to blend it out. And what's really nice about this is it's got a matte finish, so if you don't love kind of like the shimmer highlight look, it creates the illusion of a highlight. So the great thing about this trend as well is that it works on all skin tones. I love it in a corner highlight. Oh, me too. <laughs> then try not to poke your eyes out if you've got long nails. <laughs> yeah. And it just adds a little extra pop. So Vic, have you tried this one? It's the got to be glued for brows and edges. I've seen it and I've tried the hair gel, but I haven't tried this one. So I think, I think I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, give it a go. So this all came about because everyone used to use the hair gel like mm -hmm. you did, Vic. Um, so got to be made it in kind of an easy applicator format so that you can use it in brow. So it's got a really nice brush to kind of brush through and give you a really laminated brow look. It smells really nice as well. I was yeah. just gonna say, it smells absolutely lovely. <laughs> Didn't expect that smell. It flushed them up so quickly. It looks good. I like really it. Really nice. What's amazing about this as well is, as the name suggests, it's for brows and edges. So you can use it on kind of the edges of your hair if you like to comb them down or brush away your flyaways. And it's also non-drying, so you won't get that kind of flaky brow look throughout the day. It keeps them hydrated, which is good. <laughs> so the last one is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in white. And this one came about from a trend on TikTok where you put it underneath your makeup and it's meant to brighten your eyes. So you apply it as regular concealer 
um, and then apply your regular foundation over a top and then it's meant to brighten your eyes. Should we give it a swatch? Yeah. yeah. You've used this concealer lots in the past, Sim, haven't you? Yeah, I use um, it as just a regular concealer and it's absolutely amazing. It's great coverage. I use it for no makeup makeup days where I just want to cover a few little spots um, and just like go about my day. You definitely don't need too much as well. No. It's, it's so <laughs> full coverage. So I never would have picked this up because it is so light. Yeah, that's the great thing about it. So everyone can use this, any skin tone. Um, you, all you have to do is just put it underneath your foundation and it just brightens your eyes. So I think that's everything. Thank you for joining us and introducing me to some new products. I'm definitely going to stock up on this one because it's one of my staples and favourites and I feel like it's going to sell out. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, thank you. Hey guys, I'm Vegan Beauty Grace and I'm a beauty blogger. I love showcasing Kind Beauty Made Simple. Today I'm going to be using Rimmel's new Kind and Free range. This is really exciting because it's Rimmel's first clean makeup collection. It's 100% vegan. First up I'm trying the Kind and Free Moisturising Skin Tint Foundation. Now this is enriched with Pro Vitamin B5, Vitamin E and Aloe Vera. Okay, so I've got two shades to choose from I'm gonna go in with the classic beige and I'm also going to try the golden beige to just see which color I prefer I definitely like the golden beige more it's just a bit more yellow tone for me and I really want a bit more color it feels really nice and light. Okay guys, so you can see I've got it on one side. I've put the tiniest amount on and it's already giving me that like fresh, healthy looking glow. Okay, so I've got it all on and it feels amazing. Like I'm really happy with the coverage, but it also just highlights like brightens my face compared to before. Okay, next I'm going in with the Kind and Free Hydrating Concealer. I love a concealer, especially if you're someone that kind of gets a bit of dry eyes or throughout the day. I love a concealer that's kind of moisturizing my under eyes throughout the day, but giving me that clean cut coverage and brightening my under eye. Okay, so I'm going in with the shade Tan. I'm gonna pop that in the middle and here. So I'm just placing the concealer under my eyes, only a tiny bit, but to really kind of give it that lift and to get rid of the dark circle. I really love a concealer that can give me that full coverage, but without feeling too thick. I'm just gonna bring it to the inner corner of my eyes a bit more. Okay, so I've done my concealer and my foundation. Next up, I'm trying the Kind and Free Volume Mascara. Now I've seen this all on TikTok and I'm really excited to try. This is enriched with sheer butter, so it's really nice to like nourish the lashes as well as to enhance them. So this is with the mascara and without, and you can see already it makes a massive difference. Okay, look at this. I am really impressed. When I saw this on TikTok, I thought, hmm. But no, they are really, really good. Next up, I'm using the Healthy Looking Pressed Powder. Now this is to give you a mattified, natural finish, and it's also enriched with aloe vera, so it's a really nice way to just set the makeup in place. Um, I'm using the shade Medium, and I like to put it in the areas where I get a bit oily throughout the day. Wow, I can really see the difference already by just putting it on this side a bit more. I'm really impressed with the powder actually. Here especially, it's just giving me that airbrush look, which I love. And to finish off with, we're trying out the nail varnishes, which are plant-based. And I've got my colors in Midnight Sky Poppy Pop Red. My makeup is done and I'm ready to go. I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching. If you liked any of the products you saw today, then click the link below. This will have their kind and free range. So yeah, definitely check them out. That's all we have time for this week. I have learned so many new tips and tricks and found some new super drug products that I'm definitely gonna buy. Next week, we have beauty experts Laura Capon and Keeks Reed showing us those cult beauty products that just work better together. Bye for now.